Brace yourselves. Guys, a new era in battery technology is about to begin. Leading the charge is none other than the world's top EV battery maker, CATL. Their latest innovation isn't just another upgrade. It's a bold leap that promises to redefine how we power electric vehicles. Top executives claim this new battery could push EV technology into an entirely new league. So, what makes CATL's sodium-ion battery the talk of the EV world? For years, sodium-ion batteries have been whispered about as the safer, smarter alternative to traditional lithium-ion pack. While lithium-ion batteries can catch fire or fail under pressure, sodium-ion tech flips the script offering a far more stable, secure and worry-free energy solution for EVs. Think of it as a calm, controlled powerhouse that keeps your ride safe, even under stress. The excitement around CATL's breakthrough reached a new peak when Gao Han, the company's chief technology officer for EV business, dropped the bombshell. Sodium ion battery technology is no longer confined to laboratories. We at CATL have made breakthroughs in energy density, cost efficiency, and environmental sustainability, paving the way for mass adoption. That statement wasn't just words, it marked the official green light for CATL's sodium ion revolution. But before we dive deeper, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and turn on the bell icon, because this is one innovation you'll want to stay updated on. According to insiders, CATL's sodium ion battery isn't just another experiment, it's one of a kind. Still, even the biggest revolutions face a few hurdles before taking off. So let's dig into the challenges that had to be conquered before this tech could hit the market. Ask anyone in the EV industry, and they'll tell you lithium ion batteries have been the backbone of electric mobility for years. Their impressive energy density made them the perfect choice for both cars and high performance electronics. But there's always been a catch. Lithium ion comes at a cost both in price and safety. Sodium ion batteries, while cheaper and safer, lag behind in one key area energy density. Fast forward to now, and everything's changed. CATL has found a way to turn that weakness into a strength closing the performance gap and setting the stage for a new generation of electric vehicles. However, fast forward to 2025, and everything that posed a challenge to the adoption of sodium ion batteries over lithium ion batteries has changed, and CATL made sure that they took advantage of that. At Supertech Day 2025, CATL unveiled its new Nextra battery platform. The platform offers a major leap in sodium ion battery development and promises to tackle several areas where lithium ion batteries couldn't fill the gap. Now that we've put that aside, let's consider five facts about cattle sodium ion batteries, which could lead to the displacement of lithium ion batteries and even disrupt the entire EV industry. One. The new battery has a robust energy density. The first production under the Nextra brand will be of a new sodium ion battery with an energy density of 175 watt hours per kilogram. This figure is nearly equivalent to the lithium iron phosphate, LFP batteries popularly used in electric vehicles and even surpasses some EV battery energy densities like the BMW i3 and the Geely Galaxy E5. On the flip side, this energy density is enough to deliver 124 miles 200 kilometers, of electric range in a PHEV and up to 310 miles 500 kilometers, in a pure EV. Those estimates come from China's testing cycle, which is usually quite generous with range, but those are decent numbers for city cars and micro EVs gaining popularity around the world. Even though lithium ion batteries have stood out because of the energy densities they offer, sodium ion batteries have come to take that spot. In the future, we could even see higher energy densities from sodium ion batteries. You'll agree that lithium ion batteries could become obsolete if this happens. Number two, high performance in extreme weather conditions. CATL says its new sodium ion battery can store a good amount of energy and can charge up to 80% in just 15 minutes at normal room temperature. Even in very cold weather, like minus 20 degrees Celsius, it still keeps over 90% of its power. To help it function this way, CATL has created a system that lets manufacturers combine sodium ion and lithium ion batteries in one unit. The smart control system manages how the two types work together. This helps make up for the fact that sodium ion batteries don't store as much energy while still benefiting from their fast charging and strong performance in cold weather. However, we can understand where CATL is coming from. They don't want customers to have very high expectations of the batteries. 
With time, we expect further announcements on this battery specification. 4. Extended Life Cycles CATL has emphasized that their new sodium ion batteries possess 10,000 life cycles. If this is true, then it is expected that this battery would lead to a breakthrough in battery longevity and reliability. We say this because most current EV batteries last around 1,000 to 2,000 full cycles, which, when calculated, translates to 8 to 15 years of use. Now, a battery with 10,000 full cycles and 500 kilometers per cycle offers up to 5 million kilometers, 3.1 million miles of driving over its lifetime. Do you know what that means? The battery could outlive the vehicle it is contained in and even multiple vehicles. It would also reduce long-term ownership costs and environmental impact. On the commercial side, it could mean that high mileage services like taxis, delivery vehicles and buses would benefit enormously. In addition, there would be lower total cost of ownership due to minimal battery replacement needs. 5. High Safety Protocol if there's one aspect that is mouth-watering about CATL's new sodium-ion batteries, then it is the safety it guarantees. The company says its sodium-ion battery is much safer because of the way sodium behaves. The battery does not easily form spikes or what are called dendrites inside the battery, and it's less likely to overheat or catch fire. CATL explained that they tested the battery far more strictly than the usual safety rules require. They even pierced and drilled the fully charged battery and it barely gave off any smoke, no fire and no explosion. Even cutting the battery with a saw didn't cause it to burn. The reason it's so safe is because of the electrolytes contained in the battery, which act like a protective barrier. They help stop heat from building up and block the formation of dangerous internal structures. The company calls it a kind of built-in firewall, and they made it clear that keeping the battery safe is their top priority. With this CATL sodium ion battery rollout, we've seen its potential and what it has to offer. However, how would lithium ion batteries fare in the EV market? Let's consider just two areas in which lithium ion batteries could be greatly impacted. The first area is the aspect of market share loss. If sodium ion batteries prove to be reliable, automakers may shift towards sodium ion to reduce cost. As you would expect, this would lead to a decline in lithium ion battery demand, as automakers might use them in lower cost EVs to make those cars more affordable for people. The second area could be the aspect of the manufacturing shift. Instead of producing more lithium ion batteries, battery manufacturers might expand to support sodium ion battery production. This could divert capital investment away from further lithium ion innovation, leading to stagnation in its development. Would the CATL sodium ion battery suffice? It seems that all areas of concern have been dealt with by CATL, especially in the areas of battery life cycle and energy density. Let's have your thoughts in the comments section.